Hi readers and writers, I'm so glad you're here with me today. We are going to do a decoding and spelling review together. Materials. For today, grab a piece of paper and a pencil. We have two learning targets. I can read silly, closed syllable, and two syllable words. And I can spell closed, two syllable, and high frequency words. Let's go. Transition song. Gather round together to read silly words. They may sound a little strange. Strange, strange. They may sound a little strange cause that's how they're arranged. Word work. We are going to practice reading some silly words. Even if we don't know the words, we can still work to read them because we know the sounds that the letters make. Let's look at this first one together. I don't know this word, but I know that I can look at each syllable and then put those syllables together. This is the first syllable. I know that because I found the first vowel. Hmm. Ulud. Lud. Okay, I'm gonna hold that in my brain. What's the next syllable? Hmm. K. E. T. When I put those two syllables together, lud and ket, I get ludket. Here is our next word. Hmm, I don't know it either, but I know that I can look at each syllable at a time. Can you find the first vowel? That's fright. It's an A. So I know the first part of the word is M-A-P. Let me tap out that first part. Why don't you join me? M -a -p, M-A-P. Let's look at the second syllable. Hmm, I see that vowel in it. N-E-T, net. So the first syllable was map. The second syllable is net. Put that together and I get map net. Nice job decoding those silly words with me. We just practiced reading silly words. Now we're going to practice spelling words with style. Here is our first word. If I want to spell this word admit, I could use one style the whole time, or I could change my style with each syllable. Let's do the first one. A, D, M, I, T. Here is our second word, subject. Subject. Think about if you're going to use the same style the whole time or change after the first syllable. Choose your favorite style and go ahead and spell the word subject. Nice job spelling that with style. Transition song. Now it's time to decode to show what we're learning. Now it's time to decode to show what you've learned. Fluency. It's time to practice reading some words that follow the pattern we've been talking about during this cycle. Some words are going to pop up on the screen. Do your best to decode and read any words that you can. Are you ready? Here's the first one. That word was cobweb. You could look at each syllable at a time. 
cob web cobweb here's our next word that word is tonsil ton sil tonsil here's the next word That is a long word. When I look at each part at a time, I see chip, monk, chip, monk. This word has two syllables also. Thank, less, thankless. This is a challenge word. It has three syllables. Give it a try. Establish. S tab lish. Establish. This word also has three syllables. Give this challenge word a try. In, sis, ted, insisted. Was. Said. Excellent job working to read those words with more than one syllable and those high frequency words. What did you do well? What felt tricky? We will keep practicing reading words with more than one syllable. For now, kiss your brain. Writing. Go ahead and grab your paper and your pencil for our writing practice. I'm going to say the word and a sentence and do your best to write each sound in the word you hear. A strategy you might use is to think about each syllable at a time as you write the word. Our first word is puppet. Our teacher used a puppet to help us learn. Puppet. The second word is inspect, inspect. The detective will inspect the clues to solve the case, inspect. The third word is splendid. She wrote a splendid poem today. Splendid. And finally, our last word is Conquest. The Vikings went on a conquest. Conquest. Nicely done. Let's take a peek at each word together. Puppet. 
if we break that into syllables, we have pup, pet, puppet. The second word was inspect, in, spect, inspect. That word had a few blends in it. The third word was splendid, splendid. It has a blend at the beginning, S-P-L. And finally, conquest. The word conquest has that Q with its buddy U in the middle. That's what makes the qu. How did you do? Think about what you did well with writing these words and what you want to keep working on. Closing reflection. You did some amazing work this week as we started to learn about words with closed syllables and two-syllable words. What do you want to keep working on from this cycle? You should be so proud of your hard work. Go ahead and kiss your brain. Do a little dance to celebrate your work and I'll see you here again soon.